This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, my name is Mike Hermes and welcome to my channel. Well guys, today we are going to do a 3D code tutorial and what I'm going to show you is that you can actually import your model plus existing textures into 3D code so you can add on to those textures, okay? So that's what we're going to do, here we go. Okay guys, here we go, we're in 3D code. And for some of you guys, I'm gonna make 3D code a lot more cooler than it already is, okay? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take an existing model, we're gonna bring it into 3D code. And most of you are aware that you can do a lot of cool things in 3D code, but apparently a lot of you don't know that you can pull in existing textures, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And we can modify them and then save them out later, okay? So I'm just gonna close this out here and <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go up to file and we're going to go to import and I'm going to import a model for per pixel painting. Okay. Now I did um, a TNT explosive plunger a little, a little while back. So I'm going to use that as a reference. I'm going to load up the low poly mesh. I'm going to keep the UV and we're all set. Okay. Now with this model uh, in our frame here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to apply the existing maps that I have for this guy. So I'm gonna go up to textures. We're gonna go to import. And let's start by importing, let's do an external AO map, okay? There we go. We'll plug that in. And immediately you see that it's applied, okay? I'm gonna go back, import, let's do a uh, normal map. Let's see, where is it? Right there. And there we go. And we'll keep that layout. And then finally, we'll go in, I'm not gonna do all of them, go to import and do our color albedo map, okay? Now, there you go. Now, the cool thing about this is if you want to uh, adjust the normal map by giving it some roughness and you want to do that in 3D code, or you want to alter the uh, appearance of your model by using uh, paint in 3D code, you can do that and it will be applied to your existing uh, maps, okay? And I'll demonstrate that. So I'm just going to take a simple paintbrush and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a big red cross on the front here. Okay, now that should have an effect, uh, an effect on my maps, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up to File, Export Objects and Textures. I don't wanna overwrite my file because I kinda still need that. So we'll call this TNT New as an object, okay? And let's just save that out. I'm gonna leave all of that as is and hit OK. Now, just to prove to you guys that it has actually altered my maps, we'll just uh, jump over and I'll show you. Hang on. Okay, guys, here we are. This is the folder where I had all the maps laid out for my uh, TNT plunger. And if we go in, you see that there's now a new file called TNT new. And uh, let's see this one right here. And it is our color map. So let's just uh, double click on that. And we'll open that up in Photoshop. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. And if we zoom in, there is our red cross right there. Okay. So just to show you guys that um, there are quite a few amazing things you can do with 3D code. And for those of you who didn't know, well, now you know. Okay. So uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And that said, see you guys next time and thanks for watching. Bye.